Welcome back, you beautiful fucks. It's me, Danny, with a little bit of a different video today. I'm pretty tired. All right, it's 4.29 in the morning. That's almost 4.30 in the morning. But it's a Friday night, so it's okay. I should record this video earlier. I, I fell asleep. I, I took what was supposed to be a nap, and it's one of those where you wake up hours later like, oh, where am I? But anyway, I'm here now. We're going to have some fun, okay? Let's get, uh, let's get serious. Rip that right off. We are gonna, um, I like to do toy photography sometimes. Get that, that table's pretty dirty. But yeah, I like to do some photography sometime with these figures I have. And I figured, let's have some fun. Let's, uh, let's take some pictures, okay? I'm not a professional, alright? I'm, we're not gonna sit here and talk about exposure and shutter speed and all that. Uh, I just... Get some backdrops, get some props, let's have some fun, okay? Just like they're essentially playing with toys. Right here, we're going to use a notebook I had uh, lying around from my last video as the main floor. And I put uh, from Michael's, they have like, I found these, this poster board that's like, looks like the sky. So I use those as a backdrop, I cut it up. Um, I might have to buy a new one soon though, because I had used it for like a diorama. So now it's kind of chopped up, but it, it works for now. We just have that as the backdrop. And here's the, the subjects of today's video. Um, just some recent pickups. Uh, the Geigen Funko Pop, which I have on my desk, which is really cool. And then it's all Funko themed, really. We have the Destroya Funko Mystery Mini, although it's not really a mystery anymore because it's already there. And then Angiris. Um, and... Then the buildings from the Bandai minis that I was talking about. So I, I, they're still their regular colors, black and yellow. I'm going to be painting these soon because uh, I figured I'd do some pictures with them, how they look now. But they definitely need a, a paint job so they don't look as cartoony. Um, despite these figures looking very cartoony themselves. But I'm okay with the figures looking cartoony. I don't want the buildings being all colorful. But we'll do it for today. Alright, so we're starting off with the Gigan. Uh, very, I very much love this figure, and that'll be fun to take some pictures. So here, just kind of setting up, you know, deciding how I want to organize this. I did pick up some more of those Bandai, two more. Um, so I picked up a blue building, and then another set of black buildings that are a different shape. And again, these will be painted. I got from those, I got a duplicate Godzilla, which was disappointing, but it is what it is. And then a Mothra, which... I don't have, I have it now, but I didn't have it before, and it, I'm looking at it right now, it's, as much as it's cool to get something you don't have, this figure is very disappointing in terms of paint, like, at least the, the Ghidorah and the Godzilla look cool, but this Mothra, like, it, it looks like they didn't finish painting it at all, like, it, I don't know what happened here, but it's nice to have, maybe I'll paint it myself or something, but I do have buildings, which is the real plus right there. I may even attempt to add some signs to it to make it a little bit more unique. Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention to the video. <laughs> uh, these are tanks. I got these, like, they're little party prop tank toys for kids or something. I bought them. They all came together in a whole variety pack and on Amazon. It was fa fairly cheap, too. Um, I'm messing with the lights here. So they're very, again, they're kind of cartoony with how they're shaped, but they're, they make really cool props. So I have those. I figured we could, uh, you know, use them to show Guy can be under attack. I will edit a few of these video or pictures. There, I use my phone again because I have an app on there that I edit these on. That you can add like some explosions and stuff on just for fun. So you see me taking a picture there, exploring different lenses because all these phones have like three lenses now. I prefer the was it the micro one? The what what what's the lens like? Point three. I'm sorry, I'm not like an expert in all this shit. Well, especially when it comes to, yeah, the, the, the three time zoom. That's the one I usually use for most figures. Sometimes I'll use the one time, but it, I feel the three time looks better, in my opinion, because you are dealing with small stuff. I'm saying right there, all that hand waving, I don't like the way the lighting looks on that one. So, but there, got some pictures of Geigen, and I'll show you 
the pictures I take at the end. I took a few. I won't show every single one because some of them aren't that good, but I'll show like a handful of them and what I do with them. So, move the buildings around for the next set. Do you guys see that Kong was shown off? High, I guess it's like Godzilla Day now. I thought it was on the, the 4th. Or I guess it's like all weekend they're doing this stuff, but some stuff got revealed. I saw the Haya Kong with the Beast Club and the, the Metal Tooth was revealed. I did pre-order it on Big Bad Toy Store because that looks awesome. And I'm sure it'll come out way, way in the future. You know, probably around this time next year or so. Maybe, hopefully sooner. We'll see. Oh, God, here comes BB. She sees me recording. Usually that means she wants to jump on my desk and see what I'm talking into. Uh, I'm stuffed up, too. I'm always stuffed up when I do these videos. My nose is always just... At the end of the day, it's just like, all right, here, come, here comes the snot. <laughs> just to plug my nostrils. Um, what's been all, what, what else has been revealed because it's Godzilla Day? Um, I'm just getting the buildings, just shuffling them around, add some variety. Again, I, won't, I want to decorate these buildings a little bit more. Just give them a fresh coat of paint and maybe, again, add some signs because I do think they can make some really cool props. Uh, uh, Super 7. They did some reaction. Ghidorah and Mechagodzilla both got two reveals. Um, just different carded repaints. Uh, there were some box lunch versions. I think those are the ones that I was not that interested in. Wait, no. I think those I was... The cards look pretty cool. I do like that. And I guess the repaints look fine. Uh, and there's also some... I, maybe they're Godzilla store exclusives. Maybe not. But some other, like, uh, thermal-looking ones, I guess you could say. If I'm remembering correctly. Uh, they look cool. Not, not going to pick up. I'll pass on those, but still look cool. But the big thing that they revealed. Oh, they revealed, like, a... What's it called? They have, like, a Fun Fun line. That's what it's called. Fun Fun. And they have a Godzilla figure. I'm not into that. I don't know what that is, but... If you're, it looks like another Funko type of style figure. Uh, but the big thing that I I am looking at uh, is they finally showed the what they dubbed the charging up Godzilla minus one figure, and it's the minus one Goji that they did the ultimates. It's an ultimate figure, uh, but now the dorsal plates are extended, uh, like in the movie where he was charging up his beam, his dorsal plates extended out. And they're blue. And I guess they glow. I think they said they glow in the dark. I could be wrong. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Sorry, excuse me. Um, and that I'm definitely into. Now, there's been some controversy around it because people are like, wait a minute, where's the beam effect if it's charging up and he has the blue dorsal plates? And from what I'm hearing from multiple people, and they posted this out there, um, I guess there's the way. Toho is they want two different they they license it as two different Godzillas the charging up and then the atomic breath version where his dorsal plates will be sunken in further just like how they do it in the movie um, and then he'll have a beam effect so I think maybe in two months from now maybe you'll see that from Super 7 because two months ago is when the or maybe a month ago is when the Minus one Goji came out, the regular one, and next month in December is when this one releases. So maybe in like a month or so, we get the Beam Effect version, which is cool. Um, I, I think the new figure. I like the minus one Goji, the regular one. So I'll probably pick up the Super Seven one. Here I'm just doing back to the video. Who uh, just uh, doing some some profile images of Destroya and. Uh, Angurus. I like doing this because it really like one of my things when it co has come to collecting as you got older you know as a kid when you get new toys you know you play with them and it's your, like your favorite thing for the for the week or day whatever and you really appreciate it uh, as an adult you know you I feel like when I buy figures I just set them on a shelf and forget about them like there's so many figures I just completely forget that I have at this point which is a blessing and a curse in some ways. Um, I'm very fortunate to have 
some of the figures I have. Pretty much all the figures I have. I'm just very fortunate. But I want to, like... I, I don't ever just want to keep shoving it on the shelf and forgetting about it. You know, like, I spent money on it. And I feel like when you do photography in some ways, it's... It, it, you enjoy the figure. You know, you're not playing it with it like a child. Nothing against that if you do that. You know, if you still have that imagination in you, and that's awesome. Um, but I, I like that photography. It's still... I, it's a way to express myself artistically and show off the figure in a in a fun way you know and we'll have some fun with these in a second but yeah anyway what was i saying about ultimate or yeah i just i was talking about ultimates yeah i'm excited for both anyway we're about to look at some pictures here in a second give the thumbs up all right so here's gigan and you can see the binder spikes in the center there and i actually so th those are from the the not the binder the notebook, and I to me it kind of came off as like that's barbed wire. Uh, at least that's what it, I look at it like that. I think that's pretty cool. So I kept that one. I took two, but that's the one I kept. And uh, I should have cleaned my camera. I feel like it's not as vibrant this picture. But anyway, uh, I went ahead and edited it a little bit, and let's take a look at that. So here's what I did, and. Again, it's not. My, this is definitely not my best work. Um, I kind of slapped these together right now. Again, it's very late. I woke up late. I should have spent maybe a little bit more time. But I added some fire to the tanks to see that he's shooting at them. Uh, some explosions near his feet, and some alien ships because Gigan is from space, so I uh, had to represent. And then some fighter jets as well. So there might be a little too much going on in this picture, but uh, it's again just for fun and. I, I did put like a little bit of a filter on it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. But I think it's a fun image. You know, add some add some life to the scene. All right, here's a pretty shitty uh, example of a pretty crappy image. Uh, gonna throw that one away. But then we get this one right here, which is uh, a good, at least a pretty good uh, picture of both Aguirre and Destroyer looking at each other. And again, I, I did some had some fun with it. So here it is. And it added some, like, debris and crumbling in the foreground and background near Destroyer's hand and, and Yuris's tail. Um, and then added some jets again with some fog. So, that one's pretty basic. Uh, not too much. And it adds a little bit. The only thing is, I think, with the debris I put, like, especially in the center there, it just doesn't match the buildings. And again, I want to color, the, I want to paint the buildings. But, like, you have, like, very... Uh, realistic serious looking buildings in the front then you have the colorful stuff in the back I, it doesn't i don't think it really meshes too well um i think it would look better if i first painted the buildings but it is what it is then here's just the destroyer i did this is the, the one time zoom i don't know why this image hurts my eyes and i'm sharing it with you let me know if this hurts your eyes too <laughs> i don't know it's, it's just too much okay the way he's looking at me this hurts but uh, then I did it again in the three time zoom and I don't, I don't edit this one. I just like it the way it is. And, uh, I think it's a good, just a solid picture of the figure itself. Then I do this one kind of rule of thirds a little bit. Um, and then add some explosions and fog and fighter jets. And I do like this. I have another slight filter on it and I, I like the way this one came out, you know, with the attack chopper and all that. Then here's a really zoomed out on Gears. I told myself I would crop, and I just didn't even bother to crop it. <laughs> I just figured I'd show that. Uh, then I went ahead and I did the three times zoom. Again, nice profile shot. I like this one. Just going to leave unedited. And here's, again, the kind of rule of third one. Although when I edit it, you'll see here I end up just cropping it. Making it black and white, similar to Gears from 1955. Some debris by him, and then a, like a news chopper flying around my cats are fighting right now as usual um killing the vibe <laughs> but anyway back to the figure yeah i cropped it in i like it it's a simple not too much going on and sometimes that's all you need like some of these images i feel like maybe i put too much going on but this one just keep it simple just add a little bit of flair so that was fun just uh editing some photos showing it off and yeah having a good time rambling let me know what you guys think of this video i want to do more of it you know, maybe it's maybe this is better than just doing reviews for some of these figures. Cause some of these figures are so basic, like especially like the movie monster series. Like I don't need to see it. I don't know. I'm not like a reviewing guy. If you 
like I like to talk about them, but I don't go too far in depth. Um, so maybe I'll stick to a different format than everyone else. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all take care. I'll see you all next time.